Hello, grade 11 students. Good day. How are you? I hope you are fine. You are still in Earth and Life Sciences intended for senior high school students, grade 11 to be specific. Our next lesson, our lesson 8, Changes in Mineral Components and Textures of Rocks, or Metamorphism. In this module, the primary goal is to enable you, dear learners, to describe the changes in mineral components and texture of rocks due to changes in pressure and temperature or metamorphism. Specifically, this module will help you to identify rock samples based on the effects of changes on temperature and pressure and analyze through a diagram on how temperature and pressure affect the mineral components and texture of rocks. This module demonstrates an understanding on how rocks are formed and transformed based on the content and textures. It also describes the changes in mineral components and texture of rocks due to changes in pressure and temperature known as metamorphism. Let us review our previous lessons. About 4.6 billion years ago, our planet Earth was formed. It is a round ball of rock. Earth is the only planet with living creatures. The Earth has four layers, inner core, outer core, mantle, and crust. The inner core is at the center of the Earth, which is made of iron. It is very hot and keeps the outer core as liquid. Mantle is made up of thick rock, and the crust is a thin surface that consists of the lightest rock. Rock is a solid mass, mostly a mixture of minerals. The lightest rocks form the continents. Rocks are natural resources that help us in many ways. It can help us in making pencils, jewelry, tables, and many more. Can you enumerate rocks' uses? We can build houses made of rock, right? How about walls and fireplace with rocks? How will you describe rocks? Rocks are very strong, right? But they wore away over time. Wind and water worn them down and that makes soil. There are three types of rocks. These are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. They are named after how they are formed. Under the ground, there is a hot molten rock. When rocks are heated and reaches its melting point, it forms magma. Magma comes out from volcanoes and forms rock above the surface. This magma can also cool under the surface. It makes rock under the ground. The rocks formed from magma are called igneous rocks. When rocks are worn, these pieces of rocks, minerals, and soil are moved by wind and water. It can be carried to any other places. And from there, it will be piled up together in places just like under the lakes and oceans. They will be pressed together over time. The parts that make them are called sediments, and these are called sedimentary rocks. Other rocks change from one time to another and is called metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic means to change. These rocks are often formed from the mountains. The pressure and heat changes these rocks. 
Basalt can be changed by pressure and heat can turn into a granite. Limestone can be changed into marble. Do you know any object that is made up of marble? Have you seen the Statue of Liberty? That is made of marble. Building can also be made of marble, like the Greek temples. The original rock can either be sedimentary, igneous, or even other metamorphic rock. Any kind of rocks can change into a new rock. This is what we call metamorphism. Metamorphism is the change that takes place within a body of rock as a result of it being subjected to conditions that are different from those in which it is formed. It is from the Greek word meta means change and morphe means form. From extreme heat and pressure, the original rock is changed into a completely new rock. This new rock is called metamorphic rock. The word metamorphic is a Greek word which means to change form. What causes rock metamorphism? There are two types of rock metamorphism. Contact metamorphism is caused by an increase in heat and regional metamorphism which is caused by pressure. Let us discuss these two types of metamorphism one by one. Contact metamorphism. Due to intense heat, existing rocks buried deeper and deeper under the surface of the earth are in contact with heat provided by lava or magma. When temperature rises, existing rock will be burned or metamorphosed by the heat of magma. Burning makes the rocks metamorphose into a new metamorphic rock. For example, as heat is produced, some sedimentary rocks turn into metamorphic rocks like limestone, which is sedimentary rock, to marble, a metamorphic rock, quartz to quartzite, shale to hornfels. Regional metamorphism. It covers a much larger area. Imagine a plate boundary, a fault or crack. If it's coming together in the middle of the plate, pressure increases. Regional metamorphism happens when these rocks are buried deep down in the crust. This is commonly associated with convergent plate boundaries and the formation of mountain ranges. Increase in pressure Pressure can cause a rock in the middle to metamorphose. Among the three types of rock, metamorphic rock is the hardest. Most of these rocks are found in the mountainous regions. Metamorphic rocks are categorized into foliates and non-foliates. Foliate is a Latin word meaning sheets. It is composed of large amounts of micas and chlorides. These are minerals that have a distinct cleavage. Nice and cyst are examples of foliated rocks that are produced by regional metamorphism. Metamorphism happens on rocks. For example, a rock shale, if added with heat and pressure, can turn into a slate. Then this slate, when added with heat and pressure, it will become pilite. When this pilite is added with more heat and pressure, it will become cyst. And when cyst is added even more, it will become metamorphic rock gneiss. Gneiss has more bands of minerals that is the result of intense pressure. If this gneiss will be added with more heat and pressure, it will melt into magma and lava. Then, it will become an igneous rock.
Non-foliates have no cleavage at all. Examples of non-foliates are quartzite and marble. It is made up of sandstone that has been metamorphosed. Marble is metamorphosed limestone. Let's go back to our previous lesson. The rock cycle is important to understand the changes that happen in rocks. Let's watch the song. Okay now, let's start with minerals, solid naturally occurring substances made from elements, singles or combos of many inorganic means, they don't come from plants or animals, always a fixed chemical structure, examples are quartz or gold. Alright now, different from minerals, let's talk about what a rock is, composed of many different compounds, structures not consistent, there are major types of rocks, in total there are three igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary. First off, it's igneous when a volcano erupts, moves magma and then it cools down, hardens within the Earth's crust, going to the metamorphic form by massive heat or pressure. Sometimes they're found by the fault lines where plates push against each other. Sedimentary rocks from sediment combining, like a river picking up to the deposit pieces, becomes a rock eventually. Okay, so over millions of years, rocks form in a few different ways and transition to the three rock types. Continuous cycle of change, most rocks not as igneous. Volcano, magma, hard and wind and water break rock into small pieces to piles of sediment. The sediment builds up, sedimentary rock it becomes. The rock is covered up and ends up inside the Earth's crust. With heat and pressure rise and rock goes through metamorphosis, becomes a metamorphic rock and cycle starts over again. One thing to know about this cycle is Order's not specific. Rocks can change to different types based on a different environment. Yeah. Igneous comes from a volcano. Metamorphic form by pressure or heat. Sedimentary small pieces from a river over a million years. Igneous comes from a volcano. Metamorphic form by pressure or heat. Sedimentary small pieces. I really hope that song helps you a lot. Did you sing along? Well, it's up to you. That ends our lesson today. Congratulations and thank you again for listening. That is another topic about rocks. Thank you for being here. Please keep safe by staying at home. Good luck and do the activities in your module. Don't go any further, just focus on this topic. Thank you!